All right, boys. We got the. We're in the basement here. We're putting up the uh, coyote that I flushed outside there in the skinning shed, and uh, we got him on the board here. And I'm gonna show you what I do to all my hides when I put them on the board. I use a little bit of this stuff. And you say, well, what's that? And, well, this is what it is. Borax. Now, you'll never see this in the, uh, in the uh, fur handlers, pelt, pelt handling manuals and stuff like that. You know, they'll tell you, to, you know, you should just do a good job and you won't need this stuff, but... The truth of the matter is, is that it, this stuff helps you out. Because uh, it'll dry out places that will end up tainting on you. And if you get taint on a hide, you're going to lose money. So... I always put it on around the head because that's the slowest place to dry on a coyote and fox and coons everything I put it on the head and for like coyotes and fox and whatnot I put it under the armpit there leg I guess it'd be an armpit if it was a person but it's a leg pit on an animal so that'll help speed up the drying because I mean this here this will be dry tomorrow morning but without the borax on there that'll be sloppy wet still so you know you want to be able to turn the pelt while this is dry but not too dry but if you turn it too soon and this is soaking wet it's not going to dry when that's against the wood of the stretcher and that's where you're going to get a stinky mess and even though it's only you know the tainted area will only be on the head the guys will downgrade your whole pelt because it stinks and they know what that smell is caused from and they're going to downgrade your pelt. So if you put the borax on there, that helps dry it up and keeps you from getting taint. Now, I showed on a video here how to remove the cartilage there. But if you're still doing it the old way of not taking out the cartilage, this stuff really helps. I used to wad, before I started taking the cartilage out there, I used to just pour the borax right on the ears and dry them right out as hard as rocks so I mean you get this here I don't know I think I paid six bucks for that box a couple years ago and it's still seven eighths full you know so a little bit of that goes a long long ways so hope this helps you out from keeping your pits, pelts from ending up getting tanked on them and downgrading you and making you lose money. Alright, thanks for watching boys.